guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about or play games and today we're gonna be playing Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we crash landed in the ruined kingdom, fought a dragon, and we got all the moons we needed to repair the Odyssey. So in this episode, we're gonna fix up the Odyssey and see what we can do next. The Odyssey is repaired. Well, that was certainly a doozy of an interruption, but I'm glad that the, that we got the ship fixed. Next, let's look at Bowser's kingdom. Hmm, architecture, statues, Bowser's castle. Wait, he's got his own castle? Man, we've got to help- uh, I, I read that wrong, but... But yeah, it seems like the next place we're heading to is Bowser's kingdom. Infiltrate Bowser's Castle is our next mission. This is probably one of the sickest interpretations of Bowser's Castle yet. This is it. The showdown. So yeah, now we've just got to make our way to Bowser. Also, I realized that in my 14th or 15th episode, I accidentally made a pun. I was talking about this sentence that Cappy said about the stupendous stew, and then afterwards I said it was a mouthful. So, I don't know how I didn't notice while editing the video. I should have added in like a laugh track or something like that. So now that we've infiltrated Bowser's castle, our next mission is to go ahead and collect some moon shards. We haven't seen those in a while, I think the last time we saw them was Lake Kingdom or something like that. So yeah, that's just our next mission. The first one that we have to get is really easy to grab, we just grab that. And I think the rest of them are over here somewhere. That's moon shard number two. Moon shard number three. Moon shard number four. And that is the fifth and final one, although I might accidentally fall into this fire right here. Nope, I saved myself good. Uh, that would have been embarrassing because it's such a small fire. It's basically like a small torch, and if I got burnt there, then. I don't know, that would have just been an embarrassing play by me. Yeah, that's our next moon here. I forget what it's called. Smart bombing, okay, yeah. So something you might have noticed here is that while we're moving through here, it doesn't really... Oh, by the way, here's the next one. We're gonna fight the Brutals again. But you might notice that there aren't any moons that you need to collect or you don't have a certain amount of moons like once you got into the sand kingdom you're like okay i need to get 16 moons or however many there were but with this it feels like you're more free this is just the final battle and you're getting moons on the side we're gonna move right past the souvenir shop here and we're gonna move right up here to f to rematch some of the brutals we're gonna head to the left one over here first And there are only two left, so the other two are off doing something. We'll see what they were doing later. But we're going to fight Harriet here. She's the same as before, it's just that she has two bombs instead of one. Then we hit her, then we jump on her head. 
And yeah, that's just what we do for the next two phases of the boss fight. And yeah, that's the Harriet fight. Now we just need to move on to the topper fight. I finally remembered his name. So yeah, he's the last one here. And it's pretty much the same fight, except he has more hats. Right to him. And with one health, we finish him off, so... Thankfully I didn't die there, because... You have to restart the fight. I don't know if you have to do the variant fight as well. Either way, I'm glad that I didn't die. And that's our next story move. Big brutal battle. I like the alliteration there. Showdown at Bowser's Castle. With full health, all we have to do is head up the tower. We finally reach the main courtyard, says Kathy. Uh, I, I need to start actually focusing on this, because if I don't, then I'll... I'll probably die at this point. This wall is pretty famous in the speedrunning community because that wall can be bypassed without using a Pokio. That's what these little guys are called, by the way. But you can bypass it with doing this weird trick, and there's a speedrun where you do it with the minimum captures, and I think this got it down to like 11 or something like that. It's since moved down to 3. Which is insane, but yeah. So this part's a bit tricky because you gotta move up with these circles spinning in the opposite direction of what you want. This one's good though; it brings you right up there. And we got the checkpoint, so even if we die at this point, then we should be good. Beneath the key. Time to take on Bowser. This is the Brutal Mech. So this is what the Brutals were seemingly working on when they disappeared from the ship. They didn't die, they just left and went to go work on this. So, we capture a Pokio, and we have to throw the bombs, or at least knock them, into the legs. And that'll expose a wood surface. And with that, we can go ahead and head up the mech. This boss fight is really cool in speedrunning because they have so many ways to skip so many parts of the fight. Oh 
I almost... Actually... I just pulled it off. I just pulled off a speedrun trick. Go ahead and destroy Rango's bubble. I'll try to do the speedrun strats again. Okay, I'm on the mech. Things are going good so far. I beat it with a speedrun strat. If that's not the best ending to that fight, I don't know what is. Showdown at Bowser's Castle. So that's the last mission moon, or story moon, I guess. It's the best way to describe it. Of the kingdom. We were one step away and Bowser flew off to the moon. Oh, I forgot to mention that. He's having a wedding on the moon. Okay, we need two more moons here. I think this- oh, this pipe is a shortcut that we can use to go to a different part. So yeah, we don't have enough power moons yet, but the video will end soon, we just need two more moons. And that's moon number one, above the poison swamp. And that's our last moon, from the side above the castle gate. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and chase Bowser to the moon where he's apparently holding his wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye! Boing. Boing. So, yeah, you just got it. That was. I. That was the weirdest thing because. I got scared because I thought it was going to fall, and then I caught myself and I was like, okay, what a relief. And then I accidentally pressed Y again, so I let go and I was like, oh no, I'm going to fall. And I kept accidentally pressing Y over and over again. So I... <laughs> I don't know how I saved that, but that was cool. <laughs>